All right, guys, we're here with Michael from Australian Expedition Vehicles. So can you just give us a bit of a background on where you come from and how you come with the company? Yeah, g'day, mate. We are ex-Army, did 30 years, uh, got out as a senior mechanical engineer. So I started up the company and basically we're producing six-wheel drive versions of Land Cruiser and a couple other vehicles, but predominantly my main source of revenue is uh, high-end vehicle modifications and approvals. Well, I can certainly tell you that I want one of these and can I buy one with the gun on top? <laughs> you can't have the gun on top, but you can certainly buy one of these. and They're all for sale. Everything's for sale in my world. So is there anything new in the pipeline, different vehicles, that, uh, a new vehicle that comes out? Do you guys get one of those so that you can do a bit of R&D on it, fit it out and, and develop new stuff for those sort of vehicles? Yep, we are. We're currently working on a remote area ambulance so that they can go into remote communities based on the six-wheel drive platform. Um, and that's obviously a commercial outcome. But the main thing that we are doing is working, you know, and refining the product that we currently have. We work very closely, or J-Max uh, Off-Road Solutions is one of, he's a main uh, contributor to all this. He builds all the um, components. Um, but uh, So that's all Queensland made as well. What's the future of the business? Whereabouts are you guys located? And uh, are you thinking of expanding anytime soon? Yeah, we're based out of Townsville, and obviously that's main reason is obviously you know a huge military presence so that's my background just trying to keep in contact with the community um what we're doing we're launching particularly here uh, is a gvm gross vehicle mass upgrade for 200 series which means you can go to 4200 kilograms gross vehicle mass and maintain your three and a half ton tow capacity so that's a fairly significant upgrade but again all engineered all federally approved ready to go if you don't want me asking, what um, with your service, what what made you join the military? Uh, when I was a young fella, I was a, a shearer, and then I, from there I got an apprenticeship. But at the end of the day, I needed a job like everyone else. So things didn't go the way it planned in the mid '80s, and I needed to work. So army has given me everything. They sent me to university. They gave me an engineering degree. Had numerous deployments. Lots of good mates. So as far as why did I do it? I didn't really have another plan, but it all panned out very well for me. This would be uh, the, a transition for you back into the civilian, uh, out of the army. This is what you come to from the army. Yeah, I got out of army to do this. Like I was, you know, I was a an, an engineer on an army project where we were delivering vehicles to defence, and I thought I could do better. So that is the reason this thing's been built, and uh, working very closely with other ex-military or military guys at the time to develop and come up with all the requirements for what we needed. But it has a very direct correlation with the, the black Land Cruiser across the road there. If you get a video of that, that's the civilian versions that we do for people. So this is a, a militarised outcome, and but we do do civilian versions of it. Awesome, great products. And uh, obviously the, the gear that's going into these is high-end gear, uh, built to last, tough as nails. So uh, awesome product, thank you very much. Uh, uh, also, a question I'm asking everyone is to choose a child, your favourite child, which, which vehicle stands out to you the most um, and, and the one that you want to keep the most? I personally have a just a single rear axle version of this Land Cruiser, which is my go-to vehicle for everything. I drive it everywhere. It's done you know, 400,000 Ks roughly and I love it. You know, these things, are just you can't kill them if you look after them. Yeah, definitely. You, you, you get out what you put into them and uh, looking after your gear, as you would know, in the Army is, uh, is paramount. So if you treat it well, it'll treat you well. The old saying is you've got to drive the thing home. So no good driving it like you don't own it. You've got to really own them and look after them. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Thank you for your service and I wish you all the best in the future. Uh, all good. Thanks, Ellis. Have a good one, mate. Thank you. All right, so we're here with Brad at the Max Track stall. So, Brad, can you just give us? A, you're the founder of the company. So, can you just give us a bit of your background and how Max Tracks come available? Well, basically, I used to do four drive guides for make you know, right four drive guides for a living, and I was researching for one on North Queensland and Cape York, and I drove it on a beach and got stuck for six hours. Eventually, got out with a hand winch, but um, at the end of it, I was absolutely had it, and uh, I thought there's got to be an easy way of that. So that was the the light bulb moment for Max Tracks, and that was 2001. So uh, we launched in 2005, and um, we're now in about 35 countries supplying the French, Australian, and US military. And um, we've recently released a new product, which is our extreme version with uh, replaceable metal studs. 
So I'm under the understanding that the, the, the replaceable metal stud uh, type that you've got here is only going to be uh, available to the military and security services and all that sort of stuff at the time being. Yeah, for the start, I think we've, um, we were at SEMA about two weeks ago in the US and we had some guys from US Defence come up and sort of ask us when they could have them. So I'd say we'll probably be making a few of them for the, for the start before we can get, give them out to the general public. Yeah, well, that was my next question. When, when can I have some? <laughs> so very synonymous with uh, the fall driving, camping, prepping community, a great product. So have you got anything in the pipeline, something new that's uh, about to come out or what you're launching here today? Yeah, we've actually got a couple of new products here. Um, we're, we're sort of expanding our offering into the, for, the total four drive recovery space. So people have been asking us for a long time, you know, what else have you got? You know, have you got any other products in that space? So we're looking at developing a whole range of products. The first two are a couple of products for winching and snatching. So we've got a, if you could just hold that one for me. We've got a, a tote, what we call our hitch. So it goes into your tow bar and it's designed specifically for use of the soft shackles and will only take a soft shackle, you can't use a steel shackle in it, so it removes another steel or metal element from that recovery scenario. So uh, it's rated at about, I think I've got it on here, I think it's rated at eight tonne, and we tested that to 37 tonne before we could break it, so quite a large safety margin. So we're trying to eliminate flying metal in recovery scenarios. The second product we've got is our, our ring, so it's a winch ring, basically replaces a heavy pulley made out of steel, uh, does once again designed for soft shackles and soft rope only. So that thing's rated eight and a half tonne and that broke at I think 48 tonne. So um, yeah, light, lightweight, you're not carrying a big chunk of steel in the back of your car and that's designed that that's, everything else is going to fail before that does. So once again removing those flying metal objects from a recovery situation. Yeah, I think we see it too many times on YouTube, someone uh, snatching someone out and then a shackle goes through a window, people get hurt and all that sort of stuff. Really good idea for the lightweight stuff as well, uh, you know, caravanning and uh, four-wheel driving in remote areas, you really need to cut down on as much weight as you possibly can, conserve fuel, all that sort of stuff, so really good innovative products there, it's really great. So. Um, it, Choose a child. Which is your favourite child? Which one would you take home with you today? Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> yeah. Can I borrow them? <laughs> yeah, no worries. So, thank you very much for your time, mate. I really appreciate it. And uh, good luck in the future.